Crispus cactus or Schlumbergera species. This plant is known as a cactus, but it's an epiphytic plant. This plant has a unique growth structure and popular for its eye-catching flowers. In this video, I'm going to share what potting soil to use to improve the growth of any variety of Schlumbergera, as well as briefly explain the care for this plant that will increase the flowering of Christmas cactus. And with this, hello plant lovers, I'm Isha Tsuba from Bangladesh and welcome to Plantology. First adding a part of refined cocoa peat. I washed the cocoa peat with trichodarba and prepared it to use as a base of soil mix. You can use a part of potting mix or loamy soil as an alternative. Next adding a part of perlite, it's puffed volcanic stone, help to improve soil drainage and increase airflow. Next adding half part partly carbonated or partly burnt rice hull. It improves aeration as well as releases nutrients as decomposes over time. Then adding half part compost. Here I'm using vermicompost. Finally, adding half part of wood charcoal to improve drainage. The size of charcoal pieces is around 1 to 2 mm. All these ingredients together turn into a well-draining, fluffy and airy mixture on which this plant easily can spread roots which ultimately will improve the plant's overall growth. This potting mix is suitable to grow any species of Schlumbergera. I started Schlumbergera from cuttings and now they all are well rooted and have healthy growth. I'm going to report all the cuttings in the 6 inches pot. The pot has several drainage holes at the bottom. First, fill the pot with potting mix. Then insert the root into the growing media. Here I'm avoiding inserting the base of the plant too deep into the soil, which can rot the base. After repotting, water thoroughly. This plant is an epiphyte, which means it grows on trees and protected by the shade of tree canopies. Generally, receive one or two hours of direct sun or a whole day of bright indirect light. Before repotting, I kept these Schlumbergera plants in a place where the plants received an hour of direct morning sun and bright light for around 3 to 4 hours on the rest of the day. After repotting, I will provide the amount of sunlight the plants received before. I will keep these plants in a bright place for a week to adjust to the new soil and gradually will move the plant to the place where plants will receive around 1 to 2 hours of direct morning sun and bright light for the rest of the day. This plant is not a real cactus, but they like to dry out between watering. Even can survive without being watered for two to three weeks. However, underwatered conditions shrink these modified stems, so water thoroughly when 70% soil feels dry. Now Christmas cactus bloom from November to December. During this period, the daytime will be short and the nighttime will be long, which encourages the plant to bloom. Mature plants bloom faster and more than the plants that just started from cuttings, or around 2 or 3 months old. I started these plants from single stem cuttings last year. They were in small pots and did not put out that much growth. It may bloom this year because I'm going to provide phosphorus supplements on a weekly basis from November to December to make all the cuttings bloom. I will add a half teaspoon of bone meal for this 6 inches pot 
around the base of each plant. You can use a bloom booster or phosphorus rich any fertilizer. I have provided all the product links in the description box and pinned comment. Phosphorus encourages the plants to bloom and prevent bud drop. And I hope this constant supply of nutrients will help to make the cuttings bloom. If you are interested in learning how to successfully propagate Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus in water, then check the video that is displayed on the screen. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Take care.